internal training video about conduit sleeves. So we're more visual people. So when you're laying in racks or servers, you're going to have what they call a sleeve conduit. Um, what that does is it transitions from the ceiling and then you're going to have your wires going into a rack. So do you just have your wires hanging out free flowing? Now, if you don't have a conduit, you can always use an assortment of D rings and that will come down the ceiling very nicely. But on this video, this is a rig that we're gonna have in most IT rooms. We're gonna have Unistrut, two pieces, and depending on how many cables you have, um, we're gonna put in a sleeve. So this is a three, this is a four, and this really is for end locations, but I just wanted to show you a couple different things with the bushings because a lot of times we'll see people just put this pipe up but then when you're pushing the cable in you're going to shred and depending on how the pipe was cut you'll notice that some of the cuts are nice some of them are not now this one is a mistake that we were testing out a tool you can see that it gets rigid Whoosh. so you have the push on bushings this is for a four this is a three inch pipe this is for the four. So also at any local hardware store, they'll try to give you these. And these actually are screw-ins. So you'll need another attachment to go on there. So typically we just go with the Arlington. There's an assortment for threes and all that good stuff. You're gonna use an assortment of straps. A lot of times we'll see out there on the field, one person will just put one unistrut out there. You wanna put two unistruts because this might shift in time. So, uh, we'll remove this for the time being. Ooch, my toes. Anyway, so depending on the placement, we're going to get this on the rack. This is just an example. You're going to need the straps, the bushing, the pipe. And depending on your ceiling is going to be the height of this unit. I know that I'm working with a really small uh, ceiling right now. You'll also notice, too, if you're ever out there on shopping experiences with bridge cable, this is a, what I would consider, basically standard depth. You do have Unistrep that somebody picked up by mistake, and it's a deeper channel. So you want to watch that when you're picking up stuff for us. So straps, bushings, this. Real quick, want to show you, there's many ways to cut. This is my old school Sawzall, and I love it. It's actually corded. Um... You want to use metal blades and just for people that aren't familiar with that this is the most of the time they're going to tell you what's on this actual blade what it's used for this one is wood with nails so you can see the teeth are a little bit different and this one has been used many times this is a metal blade metal blade so you're going to get a brand new blade cut this off there's band saws i won't go into that and there's the old school Hacksaw. Ooh, that's going to take a lot of elbow room or elbow grease. So this is an overview. Saws all cut and pipe, laying it out, and then we'll show in a return video uh, or another video of an actual completed one. All right, rack is installed and mounted. Um, the ladder is has been installed. The piping. The conduit coming down is installed. Um, everything's tight. Everything's level. Um, we have enough to come down and swoop into the rack and come into our wire management on top. So, um, all done.